since we have a vector world map inside of PowerPoint, we can select each country and make a country slide out of it. Since we already have the world map here, let's go more into detail and create a country map where we could, for example, present some more in detail informations. I go to new slide, I delete everything and as usual, I copy the text. I change it now to country map. I go to the map and I try to select three of those countries. I hope I will be able to do this. OK, Ctrl C, Ctrl Z to make it back and I copy the map. I make it bigger and I make the same for two more countries. So I selected them, I placed them next to each other to work with the size. Let's say I make it about this big and I go to drawing tools, align, align center. I also align the right and left country, which will be Egypt and Argentina. I know I want to separate all of these, so I can go the slide back, select the connector, copy it and copy it two times to separate the countries. This is looking already pretty interesting. I think graphically it's very appealing and, and people know immediately that those countries vary between each other. So now let's add some icons here. Once again, I go back and steal the text from the previous slides. I copy it. It's nearly exactly perfect placed. It already looks pretty good. I will adjust it a little bit because the text is too big. Okay, I've adjusted the text. Let's just change the color of the countries. Let's go for a strong yellow, a reddish for China and some blue for Argentina. Okay, now let's grab some icons, which will be the statistics we want to talk about. And depending on what you want to present, you should use a correct icon. I could, for example, talk about the usage of Facebook in each country and use this icon. Oh, I see a country went into the social icons. That's interesting. But I go back and I like the look of the light bulb. So I think this time I will go for the light bulb it all varies depending on what you want to show. But so let me present a great way of handling it. I select the bulb, I copy it five times. I placed it perfectly in a line. I even copied it six times because it needs to fill the country in the width. And now I select some of them. And the ones I want to be filled, I simply use the color of the country. I copy it a few times for each separate country, for China and for Argentina in this case. I would need to adjust those arguments. I could, for example, make this smaller, put this up or also delete this island, but I do not want to show any disrespect. So I make it smaller and put it a bit towards the top. Since I want to give credit to Argentina, they will have everything filled out. And sadly, China, I first have to go back to choose this color and China filled only two light bubbles. So apparently they produce not as much light bubbles as Argentina in this case. And this would be a interesting way of showing statistics of different countries with Ike. I believe we are ready with the design and we can start animating this slide. As always, head to animation and open the animation pane. We can preview what we already have here. And as we see, the title appears and the connectors are appearing. Basically, as I think about it, I would like the countries to appear immediately and then fill out the bulbs and add the text afterwards. So I need to do a little trick here. I group all of the bulbs. I copy them three times to make a background for the filled ones. I select the ones I copied just now. I go to drawing tools to shape fill and by using the eyedropper, I fill it with the dark gray of the bulbs. Now I select the colored ones. I select all three of them and this will be the most important animation. I go to animations and of course I take wipe. I would like them to fill out from the left. So I simply wipe them from left and they should be on click, on click. So now all three of them will appear as I will click one after another. I also want the text to appear with them. 
So I select all three text boxes and I simply press fade. Now I just have to go with previous and put each text under each animation. So I want the bulbs fill in and the text appear. The countries should have no animations, I believe. They could be visible instantly. Let's preview now what we have. Okay, this is nearly what we want to achieve. Now we need one little more adjustment. Let's select all three of the non-filled bulbs. I go to drawing tools. I go send backwards and I zoom in this light either by holding the left control key and the mouse scroll or on the bottom right I can use the zoom in tool. I select the bulbs and by holding the left alt key I try to place them exactly under those bulbs. And as you see it is possible so I make this for all three of them and this will create a great effect because at first the bolts will be visible and once I click they start to fill out. Let me complete the third one. You can always place them with the arrow keys. There is no problem in doing that. And I believe we are completely ready animating this slide and it will look great. Let's preview the slide now. And as you see the most important things appear and as I first time click the bulbs are filling in. The Egypt text is appearing. And once I'm ready explaining that, I can move to the next country and once again fill the bulbs and the same goes for the third. So as you see, you can present any kind of statistics on a slide and make those animation nice. As I show you the current design trends in the beginning of the course, you should use icons, you should use many colors. And as you see, the slide has only very little text and this is completely enough. So I hope once again these animations have helped you and this entire slide was pretty interesting to watch. See you in the next lesson.